Trump has had enough of Obama's trying to take over, he went live on Fox this morning to leak their worst nightmare. For the first time since Donald Trump became president, he and First Lady Melania Trump appeared together on Fox News Fox and Friends. The pair arrived to speak with reporter Ainsley Earhart about a number of pressing matters affecting his presidency as of late, including allegations of Russia collusion and claims he obstructed justice. However, the most revealing moment came when the fed-up first couple dropped a truth bomb on their creepy predecessors who have been showing up on their international routes and keeping a close on them from their home not far from the White House. The rumor of Russian collusion is still going strong since there's enough Democrats insistent on perpetuating it in hopes it will lead to impeachment. This was among the hot topics discussed during the interview that aired on Friday morning along with Trump's stalled legislative agenda as well as the health care debate that's of huge concern to most Americans. Fox News reports, President Trump on Friday called the investigation into allegations of Russia collusion and claims he obstructed justice ridiculous while saying special counsel Robert Mueller's friendship with fired FBI Director James Comey is very bothersome, during a wide-ranging interview on Fox and Friends that also touched on his stalled legislative agenda and the health care debate. Robert Mueller is an honorable man and hopefully he'll come up with an honorable conclusion, Trump said, though he noted that Mueller and Comey were very, very good friends and also criticized the makeup of Mueller's growing team of attorneys involved in the investigation. I can say that the people that have been hired are all Hillary Clinton supporters, some of them worked for Hillary Clinton, Trump said. I mean, the whole thing is ridiculous if you want to know the truth. The interview comes just one day after Trump took to Twitter to exonerate himself in the claim that he had personally taped conversations he had with FBI Director James Comey. He said that was absolutely false and has no tapes, but revealed who does and why he's in the position of defense in the first place. While not denying that there are recorded conversations between he and Comey, he said blamed it on the deep state, in particular, Barack Obama's stalking shadow government who tapped him. According to TMZ, Trump said on Fox & Friends Friday the reason he made his now-famous oblique reference to recording Comey was that the Obama administration was so deep into surveillance it was possible his predecessor wired the Oval Office. The suggestion, the wiring was so surreptitious, no one noticed it when Trump moved in. Melania Trump is by her husband's side as a show of support that she's been for him through all of these allegations. Now that she's officially moved into the White House, she's here to stay and make her important mark on America and doesn't seem to miss her anonymous life she left behind in New York City. She's an incredible partner to the president and rightfully well received by the public who are waking up and recognizing what we've been missing for eight years in this particular role as First Lady. Meanwhile, Barack and Michelle Obama are just down the street watching, judging, plotting, and comparing presidencies. Barack is still having a hard time relinquishing his former office to someone as blunt and non-politically correct as Donald Trump who tells the truth and exposes him for who he is. The political establishment is stirred up by this non-career politician as president who isn't playing their games, can't be bribed, and is not afraid of transparency. Trump didn't have a reason to record conversations with Comey since he's not in collusion with Russia like Democrats are. Fox News has more Comey had been reluctant to say in public what he later revealed he told Trump three times in private, that the president was not the subject of any FBI investigation. But after Trump's taped tweet, Comey leaked to the New York Times the contents of highly detailed memos regarding his one-on-one -on -one meetings with Trump a development that eventually spurred congressional testimony and ultimately led Comey to admit he assured Trump multiple times he wasn't the subject of a federal probe. Trump claimed a victory in getting Comey to confess the personal reassurances he'd given him, and also in instigating the testimony during which Comey stunningly revealed he engineered the post-firing leak to the Times. There has been no obstruction, there has been no collusion, there has been leaking, by Comey, Trump said on Friday. On Friday.